points. Second place is Timothy Peters in the 17 truck. He's with 149. And third place is Daniel Suarez, the 19 truck, 144 points. Spencer Gallagher is in fourth place. William Byron in fifth. Gallagher in the 23 at 139. Byron in the number nine with 135. Ryan Truex. And uh, he's in uh, sixth place. Seventh place is John Hunter Nemechek. Tyler Reddick in eighth place. Christopher Bell in ninth. Tenth place is Johnny Sada. Tyler Young in eleventh place. Cameron Haley in twelfth. And thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. Ben Kennedy, Parker Kilgoman, and Cole Custer. Ben Rhodes in sixteenth. Brandon Brown in seventeenth. Ricky Rico uh, Brayu in eighteenth. Nineteenth is John West Hanley. And uh, Austin Wayne himself is in twentieth place. All right, Matt Tift, 21st, 22nd, Travis Vopel, Timmy Hill on 23rd, 24th, Grant Entfinger, and 25th is Austin Hill. Manufacturer standings for a Camp Coral Truck Series, first place, you guessed it, Toyota, 210 points, second place, Chevrolet in second, third place is Ford with 170, and fourth place is Ram with 8. This weekend, NASCAR heads to the uh, Wolverine state of Michigan for Xfinity Series and Spur Cup Series, and to the Lone Star state of Texas for the Camping World Truck Series. Xfinity and Spur Cup Series heads to the Michigan International Speedway, 126226 uh, U.S. Highway 12, Brooklyn, Michigan, 49230, 2.0 mile deep shaped oval, four turns. Banking's at the corners is 18 degrees. The back stretch is 5. And at the start finish line, it is 12. Then Texas, 3545. Lone Star Starkle, Fort Worth, Texas, 76177. 1.5 mile asphalt oval, 4 turns. Banking's at the corners, 24 degrees. IndyCar also heads to Texas on Saturday. There you go. For the Firestone 600. And Formula One heads to Canada. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Racing Podcast Express this week presents this weekend's racing schedule. And we'll start with NASCAR Camping World Truck Series, Friday, June 10th, which is tomorrow, 9 Eastern Time, 9 p.m., FS1 and MRN, and it's the Rattlesnake Make 400. I just love the names of these races, man. <laughs> uh, that's going to be 167 laps. I thought it was only 100. 167 from Texas. Saturday afternoon, Xfinity Series Racing, uh, from, and that's going to be June 11th at 1.30, Fox Sports 1 and MRN, and that's going to be the Menards 250, uh, presented by Valvoline. 125 laps on deck, and then Sunday, Sprint Cup Series, June 12th at 1 p.m. on FS1 and uh, MRN, and that's going to be the Firekeepers Casino 400, 200 laps for that one, and again, Saturday and Sunday for Michigan. IndyCar on Saturday, June 11th at 8.50 Eastern from Texas for the Firestone, six, uh, Firestone 500. And uh, that's going to be at 8.50 on NBCSN. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Firestone 600. There you go. Uh, and then also on Sunday, uh, Formula One going to uh, north, of, north of the border to Montreal for, uh, for the Montreal Grand Prix. Sunday at 1.30 TV coverage and will be on NBC, but you might want to check NBCSN too because sometimes they like to switch it, which uh, they do sometimes. So Brett Keslowski, right, driver of the number two Miller Lite Ford, penalized on Monday. Keslowski was ordered to pit at lap 28, ordered by, Na ordered by NASCAR. Uh, now, according to NASCAR, Team Penske's pit crew made what is known as an unapproved body modification during a previous round of pit stops. Television replays show that a crew member, Jackman, uh, slammed himself into the body of the number two Ford, making an indentation. Uh, this could have effect on side force. A spokesman from NASCAR pointed out that the sanctioning body wanted to take a closer look. They surrounded that car after the race. <laughs> okay, Because, you know, sometimes they like to bang out all the stuff that they did so they don't get busted with none. But uh, the officials surrounded that car. So there was nothing getting done to that car <laughs> after that race on Monday. Um, now Keslowski says... That after one day's race, quote, I don't know what they saw, so it's not really fair for me to say anything about that. I can tell you that every car I saw had some body modifications on it after pit stops. 
Keselowski, which wound up finishing third. But wait, there's more. As the race continued, the Fox booth, Mike Joy, and uh, along with uh, Double D, DW, Darrell Wallace, Darrell Waltrip, and Jeff Gordon, referenced that Keselowski's win at Las Vegas and disclosed that they have footage from Vegas, a footage of a crew member there doing uh, something similar to what was done on Monday. And that right there is what tipped everything off. But, you know, they got cameras all over. So, you know, Keselowski tells USA Today, uh, quote, that's because Jeff Gordon is in the booth. Then he said some other stuff, but he said, quote, they need to get some people in the booth who aren't involved in the sport and own teams and have internal knowledge. Uh, he says, because that's pretty crappy. <laughs> he also says, but it is what it is. So, there you go. Uh, Jeff Gordon uh, actually has an ownership stake in uh, Hendrix Motorsports. So, and again, no, nothing came out of it. Not, no penalties. I haven't heard anything about any penalties from, from that. So, uh, who knows? But Carl Edwards, you know Carl Edwards is related to a former U.S. president. Carl Edwards revealed this week on, on Tuesday that he is related to the nation's 19th president, Rutherford B. Hayes. Edwards on Tuesday at the USS Constitution Museum and says that uh, President Hayes is his great, great, great grandfather. So, there you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Ryan Truex is... Uh, they're replacing the driver for the 81 truck for uh, two weeks. Uh, I have a write-up for that, but I'll have to get to that to you next week. But how about the history of the numbers? So, uh, start a little thing. So, every week, whatever number finishes the race, wins that race, uh, do a little write-up on that particular number. Why not? So the number 41, okay? Uh, as we all know, uh, Monday, Kurt Busch drove the, the 41 car to the finish line and to victory lane, but who else drove the 41 car? Kurt Busch gets behind the wheel of the 41 machine in 2014. 2013, Eric Almarola was the pilot of the 41. Jerry Mayfield in 2009. Reed Sorensen in 2008. A whole bunch of drivers. 88 drivers have driven the 41 car over the years, beginning in 1949 with Curtis Turner in the driver's seat. Uh, DriverAverages.com, which uh, I discovered is a pretty cool website. They, he, 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 they got stats from all the numbers from the beginning of time. It's DriverAverages.com. No, they're not telling me to say it, but I, I found it. And uh, I go to it now, and it's another go-to source, but they got a lot of good stats on, on there. October 16, 1949, North Wilkesboro, the Wilkes 200, uh, the eighth race of the strict NASCAR Strictly Stock Series, as we all know is the Sprint Club Series. Uh, Curtis Turner finishes ninth place. Scored with ninth place. According to stats, Curtis Turner only raced 193 laps of the 200 total. Curtis Turner did win the 200 miles at Longhorn Speedway Sunday, September 11, 1949, where Curtis Turner started in 11th. Some 41 car 41 stats. The 41 car raced in 1,016 races, um, 26 wins, 114 top fives. 226 top 10s, 490 top 20s, 24 pulls, 21.0 average finish, uh, total laps led, 6,345, total laps raced, 238,259. So here is some more, some extra stats right here. Uh, so the 41 car, 414 races with the Chevrolet, 288 with Dodge, 93 with Plymouth, 57 with Oldsmobile, 56 with Ford, 36 with Pontiac, 11 with Buick, also 11 with Hudson, there you go, 7 with Toyota, 4 with Nash, the Nash Motor Company, 3 with Mercury, and 2 with Lincoln. 
Always learn something new, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, check that out, driveraverages.com. All right. Uh, so let's get to it. I'm going to bang out the schedule, and uh, that's a wrap for today. Short one. <laughs> um, so again, Friday, Truck Series, 9 p.m., FS1, MRN, Reynolds Snake 400, 167 laps from Texas. Saturday afternoon, Xfinity Series, 130, FS1, and MRN. Menards 250, presented by Valvoline, 125 laps. And then Sunday, Sprint Cup Race, 212 at 1 o'clock, FS1 and MRN. Firekeepers Casino, 400, 200 laps on deck, also from Michigan. Firestone, 600 from uh, Texas, IndyCar, uh, 8.50 on Saturday, 8.50 p.m. Eastern, NBCSN. And then Sunday, Formula 1, uh, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. And that's going to be the uh, Montreal Grand Prix. And that is on NBC. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for today. So, I'll see, be back on Monday with full results from the weekend. And again, full, uh, racing podcast full throttle on Friday next week at, you know, the time, 7.05. Thank you for tuning in from Community Radio. Uh, this is Manny Allegretto. And this has been RP Express.